Welcome into the Alan Harris Show. So glad you're joining us. Boy, I tell you what, it's coming down to the end. Can you believe this is your last regular season game, Alan? No, it's hard. Uh, it's hard to understand that. It seems like just yesterday, you know, we started July 31st uh, with, with, with fall camp, and uh, it rolls. It rolls when it when it gets going and school starts. You look up six weeks, nine weeks, and here we are uh, at the last regular season game, you know, our bye weeks, the 11th week. So we've had a long run at it with no breaks. And so – um, it's went super fast, so so we got good kids, and uh, w- when you got good kids and, and you, they like to go out there and work, it goes by a little quicker, you know. Yeah, before you know, Christmas is going to be here. I mean, you better go this weekend and get your Christmas shopping. Yeah, I mean, some people probably already already looked into that. I, I uh, that usually is on hold until I get done, you know, yeah. with, with what we got need to finish here. But uh, that time of year and, and uh, weather's changing a little bit. Yeah, a little temperature change, a little. We've had a little rain each time we've gone out this week, you know, whether it's been in the morning or... Did the kids know what it was? No, but they uh, it, we act scared of it, you know, it's not sleet, and uh, it's 82, and we're, we're acting like we're cold, and they're wearing warm-ups out there, and they're getting drenched, you know, and they're running not real fast anyway with all that wet clothes on, it slows us down, so, uh, <laughs> you know, that, that provided a little bit of uh, change in demeanor. You know, some kids like it, some don't, but at least it's cooler, if you ask me. You've been coaching a few years now. Have you seen a, a year like we've had this past year? I can't say I have as far as the number of days with the heat. Uh, yeah, being as extensive. no rain. And... No rain. So, you know, every now and again, you kind of have a rain out where you go watch video or you come inside and you go to walkthroughs in the gym or the mat room or, or the weight room. And, yeah. You know, it's been full tilt right at it. No doubt, and so this week's the first week where we've had to get the fan out and bring the old balls out and then dry them off and and then reapply our leather conditioner to get them ready. Yeah. And so this is the first time we've had to do that. Do you still do have to keep some wet balls around for for practice and stuff? Yeah, like I mean that? We, you, we have some of those synthetic ones too. So when it, when it's a little bit moisture yeah. outside and the weather's a little. A uh, little, little drizzly, they get slick, and the quarterback gets mad, the center gets mad. That's what you want, though. You want them to get used to working with a ball that, that's not perfect because we haven't had any adversity on the ball. See, when we, we when, back when I played, if we, we brought our own footballs, of course. You know, we, there was two at the school, but, you know, if we ran out of those, we used one of our oh, yeah. own. So we're not used to having 18 footballs when I was a kid. But, uh, yeah, that's very important when those kids handling that football, especially the offense you run. Yeah, no, um, it, it's it's a little more challenging, and because uh, now you got four hands on it rather than just two. If you, you know, if you gun snap it, if you're back, all you got to do is catch it. But when you're under there, it's got to touch both of your hands, and then you got to you know deliver it where it needs to be uh, taken to. So it's been good for us to work on that. Uh, you don't necessarily want it every day, but. Uh, we've been having we've had great workouts and it it hadn't limited us as far as the number of minutes out there. Well, I know you. you every time I see you, that offense gets crisper and more precise. Uh, those holes open up just a little bit better, and just the just the more repetitions you get, the better you get. And uh, really proud of the way y'all played last week, but just wasn't enough, and you made a few mistakes at the wrong time. Yeah, I mean we we um, we controlled you know the time of possession. We controlled the. Uh, the, the number of rushing yards and, and, and we had two backs with over 100 and we, we had our opportunities uh, we just made some blunders in special teams and uh, uncharacteristic of us and, and so uh, give credit to them uh, they executed on uh, they onside kicked twice and got one of them and uh, they pooched one on us you know high pooched down to about the 25-30 yard line and well, you know we just mishandled it um, those things happened but we didn't get back on it so they got two possessions right there extra and that's the difference in the game my golly. And uh, before we get any further, how about that volleyball team? Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. You know, what an exciting match last night. Yeah, I heard. Uh, so, uh, old Coach Neal has got them in there, you know, opening last year, back-to-back, sneaking into playoffs. And uh, uh, very proud of them, excited for our volleyball team and our volleyball girls. And so, uh, that's good stuff. You know, the, the esteem, you walk a little bit prouder today with those girls walking around knowing that they accomplished something. That's really, really special. Yeah, and now it tells those boys, hey, it's your turn to make the playoffs, yeah. right? Yeah, well, it, it can be done. Yep. we got to take on Belton Tigers Friday night uh, right here yeah. at your place. So you couldn't ask for a better place to play is here instead of to Tiger Field. That, you know, that's for sure. They're going to bring a crowd. But you've been building a crowd all year long. Uh shot at the playoffs is, is there for you if things happen like we want them to. Yeah, I mean, they're district leader. 
Uh, they've, everybody's in this district played each other tight. Um, very sound, fundamental football team. Uh, they had a quarterback move in from Temple. That's their starting quarterback. And uh, he makes their offense go. And they've got some real good uh, defensive players. Linebacker, number three, last name of Butler, is their leading tackler. And, uh, you know, we, we know that uh, the challenge at hand. And, uh, you know, again, we've worried all, all week about our situation as far as how we prepare. You can't get caught up in them. So had a good week of preparation. Our kids have finished. And, uh, you know, anytime you last week means something, yeah. you know you're you're at least earned some pressure. And so that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. A good thing in order to execute. And so, uh, um, you know, we're excited for the game. Uh, and, and, you know, we'll line up, do our best. Because that's all, that's that's what's asked. You need more and more support. Of course, you, uh, the principal's wonderful and all the staff here, but the kids are getting to rally around you more, a little more school pride. You know, as we go on, they're learning that too. Of course, their band's great. You know, uh, oh god, they're loud and proud, and, uh, and they bring a lot. So it's a fun atmosphere. You know, it's a fun scenario for our student students and our student athletes, and so to support each other and support each other all year long, no matter what sport it is. So what are we going to look for for that offense? How many yards are you going to put up, baby? Yeah, well, try to get a first down the first time around. And, uh, <laughs> keep the chains moving and, and work on the time of possession. Um, you know, we can just hang around in the game as long as we can and, and give ourselves a chance late. Anything can happen. Have they had a look at an offense like yours this year? Not since last year when we played yeah. them, you know, over there. Well, that was a rain game. Right. Too. It was a, a cold, windy, rainy night over there, but um, – you know, we're just a shell of what we are now, so uh, we'll see if we can execute a little better. Yeah, and they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good, that's yes, for sure. You talked about the other quarterback moving over. That happens on that side of the county all the time, so that's nothing new. But uh, uh, always well coached and uh, uh, always big. Those boys, uh, there's plenty of good barbecue restaurants over yeah. in Belton, as we all know, and I think they frequent them they quite have, often have a little discount over for them if they need barbecue oh, sandwich. Joseph and Miller and Miller's one of the two I think you yeah. know they're definitely eating good because those are some big boys over there yes sir they're, they're, they're good sizes up front but uh, our guys are up for the challenge and uh, it's a football game so it means uh, when the ball snap you got to get after it yeah and your speed is is is, is an advantage for you yeah. and your offense you run that's an advantage for you we got to get people in space and uh uh, we got to keep the chains moving and uh, see if we can't get one of our kids to break loose here and there. And your defense has got to play lights out, yeah. don't they? We're going to have to uh, defend uh, the quarterback on his boots and on his pulls, and uh, they got a huge running back that uh, can be a load. Um, so more of quarterback based, but you know the GTs and the F and G with the with the running back, the, the big running back up up the middle, we're going to tackle him. Our front's going to hold up. We're going to get off blocks and, and help out in the, in the backfield. And your boys have got to play the perfect game or just play good? We got, I think any time you play, you got to play good to give yourself a chance. And then when you have a chance there late, then that's when you got to really execute right. Well, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. i tell you what, there's going to be a lot of action on the other side of town, but out of here, y'all need to come watch this game because the Chaparral's trying to get in the playoffs and – they win this game, they're in for sure. And we don't want to have to wait on anybody else. We want to be in for sure. That's right. So beat them Tigers, baby. If you need a lion or tiger tamer, I'll come out. Come on, see if you can't get them under control. Yeah, I think well, so. I, I, I think still appreciate gotta, it. I think you got a pretty good team, though. I mean, you yeah. guys are playing well. Love to watch y'all play on offense. I love to watch all that motion and everything that goes on. And uh, hopefully those defense from Belton will just be – Shaking their heads from one side to the other, wondering where the ball's going. Hopefully we can run right by them. Yeah, that's how you did it. That's how you did it. Well, uh, I guess our time's about up. I do wish you very good luck, and I will be back next week one way or the other to talk to you. You know that. That would be great. I sure appreciate it. Well, good luck. Beat those Tigers, baby. Yes, sir. Thank you. You are watching I-14 Sports Network.